Hello everybody, welcome into the hobby bar. This is Jason, and welcome. If you do any hobby, feel free to get stuff out and join it. But today we'll be working on this Gossamer Air Sorceress again, and basically trying to wrap her up today. Uh, been a few weeks on her, and I think it's time to get the base done and move on. So first, we'll be working with some Citadel Administratum Grey. Uh, usually I start with a grey for the bases, for the base code on rocks. Um, and afterwards I realized it should have been the Mechanicus Standard Grey, which is a darker grey. Um, so I'm not super happy with how it turns out, but eh, live and learn. Move on, and get, continue getting stuff done. But, I basically wanted to pick out the rocks here, so that they're sort of little outcroppings she's standing on, instead of standing on crackled up, uh, dried up dirt for the desert around her. And, uh, yeah. Go ahead and base coat the rocks that the urn and the sorceress are standing on, and then we'll move on to building up some layers, getting some other stuff, and... Later on, we'll go ahead and see how the, uh, pre or we'll use some other texture on another mini that I've been working on off stream, and then preview the next model. So, we'll go ahead and start speeding it up here to move on to the next paint. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. Okay, next up is Citadel Kirak Stone. It's another layer paint that I'm putting right over the now dry Administratum Gray. Um, again, I was supposed to undercoat darker than, than lighter, so a uh, little bit awkward, but we'll fix that up here in a bit with a wash coming over this, these rocks. And uh, while it's not perfect, it does help out. But we'll go ahead and highlight the stones with Kerak stone for that sort of sandstony appearance. Um, and move on from there. Let's catch up with y'all in a bit.
Okay, next up is Army Painter Quick Shade Soft Tone. I uh, wanted to go with Soft Tone on this instead of Strong Tone, just because it's meant to be more of sandstony rocks, rather than, like, I guess other rocks. <laughs> um, so that's why I went with Soft Tone. I probably could have gotten away with Light Tone instead, or uh, maybe Flesh Wash. Uh, probably not flesh wash. Maybe the, uh, mid-brown instead. Uh, but I wanted to try out this off-tone, because I don't think I've gotten to try it yet. And overall, pretty happy with how it worked out. Uh, have a little dropsies there. Don't mind that. Good thing it's a metal mini. Or bad thing that it's a metal mini. It might have fallen off the base. Anyway, we'll go ahead and add some more to the palette, because I didn't really add enough to it, and... Uh, finish up the soft tone on there for the uh, base for the rocks. So catch up with y'all in a bit. We we'll move on to the next one. Alrighto, so right now, kind of have to wait for the wash to dry right after applying it. So, kind of thinking here, well, what can I show while we're uh, waiting for this? I decided to grab this Spirit Seer here from uh, from Warhammer 40k. It's a model I've been working on off stream, just to uh, compare to my previous stuff. And we'll go ahead and set it up with some... Uh, Valhalla Blizzard. It's a texture, uh, technical paint from Citadel. It's a snow kind of texture. And I'm putting this over Astro Granite that I put down. Just so it's like a snowy cityscape kind of idea. And that's how I've been basing my, uh, E and Enforce for 40k anyway. So, just wanted to put some down, match it up. Figure... This is the filler arc, where we just gotta kill some time in the, uh, episode, so, you know, bring out a new model, just to show a different paint being put onto something else while waiting for other paint to dry. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get this Valhalla and Blizzard down on this guy, and hopefully by the time this is all set up, the wash will be fairly dry on the other model, and we can move on to something else on it. Which, we'll be adding some texture onto that mini. So, catch up with you all here in a little bit. Alright, now back to the Sorceress, and now we're going to play with some Citadel Agrellan Earth, as they call it. So this is a crackle paint, a uh, crackle texture basing uh, material stuff, uh, similar to their uh, Martian one, the Iron Earth, I believe it's called. Uh, but this one's just dried up normal dirt, versus like dried up cracky uh, Martian soil, or... Uh, the Mordrent Earth, I think they call it, for the black one that you're supposed to use for, like, volcanic rock and stuff. Um, I know you can get, like, Crackle Medium and make stuff that way. Um, maybe that's worth a try later, but here, you know what, we'll just keep using the good old Agrellan Earth. Uh, I use this stuff for my Daughters of Cain army for Age of Sigmar, so kind of used to using it. Uh, not used to keeping in frame, though, so <laughs> kind of working out of frame a bit, sadly. But I'll get that fixed up here in a bit when I realize it. And 
This stuff takes a good while to dry. I think I mentioned that last time I used it on some of the other guys. So, once this is on, I'm going to kind of have to figure out something else to do for a bit. And I kind of feel like, you know, I filled some time with bringing out the spirits here that was worked on off stream. So, I don't really want to do it a second time. Just kind of keep it left alone with the sorceress. So, go ahead and figure something out. No. And that happens. Anyway, go ahead and finish applying this over the base. You kind of don't have to apply it evenly. You can leave it built up more in some areas and less built up in others. And it works perfectly fine in my opinion. Anyway, finish applying this and I'll see you all in a little bit. waiting for it to dry, I figured, eh, why not grab the next mini I decided to work, figure, be the next on the series. So, next mini I want to work on is going to be this guy, a 40k Clamavis for the Gene Stealer Colts. Uh, basically, figure, eh, I can show them off, because we're going to be waiting for this stuff to dry for quite a while. Uh, I don't know what to do to fill time, and I don't want to really record it for six, eight hours while it cracks and dries and fully sets, so, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so, this is after a few hours. This is how the paint dries up and crackles. Um, I believe this was after around five hours or so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out Ushabti Bone, and at this point the wash is fully dried, so I'm going to go around on the rocks and highlight the rocks that the urn and the sorceress are standing on. Uh, later on I do decide that the base has probably had enough time to dry, and I decide to dry brush a bit on the dirt with some Terminatus Stone. Uh, turns out either the, I don't think it was fully bound up with the quick shape, like I don't think it fully dried and set, so I pulled off a couple chunks of the, of the, uh, texture. Uh, it's, I think it still works fine. Sadly though, it's like, eh, just a little frustrating that it, I didn't wait long enough, but it's all good. Totally on me. Anyway, we'll go ahead and go around and just highlight up these rocks. Uh, get the rim of the base at least a little bit darker than the stark white that it is. And call it good to go. Uh, anyway, go ahead and finish highlighting these. I'll catch up with you all for the last call in a little bit.
Alrighty, everybody. Last call. So, for this last call, I'm just giving the Gossamer Air Sorceress her time on the platter. Give her a spin. Uh, notice I missed a couple more spots. Uh, kind of can learn some things off of it, though, so. It's fine. Uh, overall, kind of happy with the results. Need to go back and touch up a few things. Not too big of a deal. Uh, then, since I showed him during the video, figure I might as well give this boy a spin. The, uh, Spirit Seer a spin on the platter. And, uh, I need to touch up a couple things on him too, but way better than my first attempt, uh, a while ago. Paints are a lot smoother and stuff on him. Then, just because I showed him earlier, we'll go ahead and give the Klamavis a spin. And that'll be the next project that we'll work on here on the hobby, in the hobby bar. So, with that, uh, have a good one, everyone. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.